Hi, I'm Lee Benz, the Home Scholar, and Denise and Heather actually sent me the same question, so it must be top of mind, and maybe if I answer it, you'll get some help too. Um, their question was simply CLEP or AP, <laughs> and you know, there's a lot of information I could give you about that. These are two very different tests, uh, but they kind of do the same thing. They measure whether your child knows a college amount of information on a specific topic and they may be used by colleges to grant you college credit. Okay, And that's pretty much where it all falls apart. The AP exam is primarily given at public high schools and private high schools. Uh, it's offered a handful of times each year. It's uh, pretty much an essay test, a lot of essay questions, a longer essay, a couple fill in the bubbles, but, but mostly essay. And it requires that you understand a set kind of material, uh, like they have a prescribed curriculum that you kind of need to know uh, one way or the other. The CLEP exam assumes that you have learned naturally just by reading, going to the library, going to the museums, living a life, reading the paper. And that exam is offered almost all year round um, on the weekdays, usually at community college or technical college, some military establishments, um, and it's on the computer. So you can see how they're, they're pretty different even though um, the content level is the same and the use may be the same. Um, making it more complicated is that some colleges will accept one but not the other and others will accept the other but not the one and it can make it pretty challenging. So I do encourage you to do a little bit of research on both and you can find information on both if you go to the college board website. Um, and for most homeschoolers when we think about CLEP or AP, these are both um, methods that we homeschoolers use to homeschool college courses. So I do have some help from information on how to homeschool college and those are the two tests that are going to be talked about heavily. One thing to keep in mind is that you want to guarantee your child's success with those tests. No matter which one you choose, you want to guarantee that your child is going to be successful with that. And the way that you do that is to study using real tests at home. Take the test in a time situation while you're at home, making sure that they will get a very good score so that when they take it for real in the testing environment, they probably won't score any worse than they get at home. And that's how you're gonna guarantee that they can pass. So I hope that helps. Oh, one last detail, I get a lot of confused parents about this, but homeschoolers can take the AP test even if they have not had an AP course. So you don't have to sign up for an AP course. Anybody can take an AP test. So I hope that helps. Have a great day.